Daniel will bring to us the word of God. And uh, I, I just love Brother Daniel. I don't know about you. Uh, nung una kong nakilala si Brother Daniel, I already knew that sabi ko, uh, observing him, I, I, in fact, I told you before. Alam ko malayong mararating nila. Because his heart is right. Tama ang puso niya. He loves the work of the Lord. Uh, he loves my family also. And uh, most importantly, he loves the Lord. Amen. Sister Jen, you're blessed to have a husband. Amen. Siguro talagang nagtatides ka siguro ng isis. Kaya binigyan ka talaga ng Panginoon ng isang blessing. Uh, and uh, he's really a blessing to our church. And uh, let's, let's listen not only with our ears. Let's listen with our heart. I don't know what message he will preach. I do not tell our men what to preach, especially Sunday nights. And uh, uh, just pray that the message will be a blessing to us. Para pa natin natin. Para pa natin natin. Para pa natin natin. Para pa natin natin. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. 
Also in uh, Romans chapter 12 verse 2, the Bible is uh, very clear that and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So these are the instructions of the Word of God to us. But unfortunately, there are Christians uh, that we can see these days, they are living their life as they wanted to live. Uh, uh, the, the book of Luke uh, tells us about the parable of a rich man, right? In Luke chapter 12 verse 19, uh, the story is about the rich man that he has some uh, blessings that he takes it for himself only. And then uh, one day the, the Lord uh, decided to take his life because uh, he is not uh, using the blessings that he has. Because uh, his principle is, uh, and I will say to my soul, so thou hast much good lay up for many years. Take thy knees, eat, drink, and be merry. Nakakalukot yung mga ibang mga kristyano sa panahon ngayon. This is their this is their practice in life. That life is short. Let's eat, drink, and be merry. But they sometimes they forgot that they should live a separated life. Amen. So, for tonight, we have three points regarding the, our Christian love for the Savior. Of course, the number one is we are loving Jesus by conforming to His Word. So, as a Christian, this is the number one that uh, we really need. Loving Jesus by conforming to His Word. Uh, Joshua 1.8 You can uh, open your Bibles in Joshua 1.8 It says there that uh, this book of the law shall not depart out of my mouth and thou shalt meditate here in day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success so the word of God this is the full, uh, foundation of our Christian faith right? it is the word of God without the Bible uh, we will not have the full instruction and guidelines of a spiritual living. If we will not have the book, the word of God, wala tayong guidelines. This is the manual of our Christian living to have a holy and acceptable life in the sight of God. So, under under that one, loving, conform, uh, loving Jesus by conforming to His word, uh, we can, uh, we just need to obey God, obeying God's word amidst a world, a world full of sin. Obeying God's word amidst a world full of sin. We know that we are living in the wicked days, right? In Psalms 119 verse 11, it is a very popular verse for Christians, for the loving, uh, Bible-loving Christians. It says that, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. This is the psalm of uh, David regarding the word of God that is uh, hidden in his heart so that sin will uh, will depart from uh, him or he will not live in sin. Uh, during during the, the Old Testament times, uh, uh, one example that I really admire is uh, Noah. We can see in Genesis chapter 6 verse 8 and 9. It is the it is the life of Noah. During his time, uh, we know what happened, right? The great flood came. But uh, in Genesis chapter 6, verses 8 and 9, it says, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Mm. Verse 9, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. Mm. So even the early times, uh, uh, obeying the word of God, even in a world full of sin, is very important. We know that uh, today there are a lot of temptations, right? Temptations are everywhere. Satan is uh, keep on uh, giving the lures to Christians so that they may they may sin against God, and he can uh, tell to God that is this your son? See uh, how he live his life. He will uh, try to destroy our testimony to the Lord. 
temptations, the loss of the eyes, the loss of the flesh. We are living in times just like the time of Noah. Soon the flood will come, right? So we should be aware that uh, the devil is uh, very clever. The Bible says that he is like a roaring lion seeking whom we may devour. Uh, if you if you are watching some National Geographic uh, channel or Animal Planet, you can see I, I really love the predatory system in the jungle. Uh, how they attack their uh, their enemies, something like that, and how they protect their the the parents of the of the animals, how they protect their kids, the young ones. So if you have watched a lion who is uh, ready for attack, he is not attacking the parents, right? Mm -hmm. The lions are always attacking the weak ones. Mm -hmm. They study their environment, they study their prey, who will be the weakest. Mm -hmm. And as Christians, Satan is also like the lion who is studying you, who is studying your family. And the weakest in the family, of course, is the children, right? You may be equipped right with the word of God, but remember that you have your children that it is the main target of Satan. Well. The young ones are the most uh, vulnerable of all. Parents may be fully guarded by the word of God, but they should, uh, we should understand that there is another uh, target of Satan, it is our children, right? This should, uh, at least this should be a warning to you. Because uh, nowadays, uh, our technology is uh, very fast, right? We have the internet, gadgets, TV. These are the things that uh, Satan is using. He is very clever. I, I told you if you will just give a tablet to one kid, uh, you will not give him the instruction. Just give him and he will explore. Suddenly, mas magaling na siya sayo. That's how it works for the technology. And sometimes, we uh, we are unguarded na ginagawa pala ni Satan yun. Yun yung kanya palang weapon para maalis ma yung attention niya sa Panginoon at uh, mag-focus doon. Uh, na alala ko lang because uh, I, sometimes I, I tend to compare the yung mga bata noong mga 90s, 80s and the children of this uh, of these ages 2000s noon uh, we are uh, doing physical activities right but nowadays uh, it's just they just need a tablet uh, a child can stay at the corner without any friends without without talking to anybody yun yung ginagawa niya ay minsan magaling na rin sila sa internet sometimes they explore they can read it, they can write, they can search anything whatever comes in their mind, right? So, if parents are unguarded, binibigay lang natin yung mga ano nila, yung mga gusto nila, sometimes, unaware tayo, yung anak natin eh, meron na palang pinatago sa atin. That's Satan how use the mind of the children. Because empty vessel pa lang yan eh. So, kung hindi ka ma-attack ni Satan, ang-attackin niya yung Uh, ano yung, yung young ones, yung weak sa part mo. So, the Bible is very clear about teaching our kids. Teach them godly things. Uh, Proverbs 22.6, this is the very popular verse, right? Train up a child in the way he should go, that when he is old, he will not depart from it. And then we have another in Psalm 78.6-7. If you can open your Bibles, in Psalm 78, uh, verses 6 and 7. It says in the word of God that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. Seven, that they may set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep His commandments. So, as a parent, ito po yung responsibility natin. Responsibility ng isang parents that we should train our children to learn godly things, right? This is the. This is should be the main uh, attention, uh, main focus of the parents to set their children uh, a godly, a godly citizen. Uh, Nakakalupot lang ngayon na 
they are approving the, the uh, this uh, same sex marriages this uh, these two uh, men or two women will adopt a child uh, sa tingin niyo ano ituturo niya sa mga bata right remember we are living in a world full of sin and that alone is sin right to, Amen. to marry that and then, ano ituturo niya sa bata Siyempre yung, yung which is acceptable sa kanila because they are living in sin. And then, pag laki ng bata, yung mga natututunan niya, ganun din yung ano. So, ano mangyayari sa society natin, di ba? Yun yung, ano, yun yung uh, nakakatakot. We are living in a world full of sin. That's why we should be uh, aware double time because our enemy is working also double time so that he can destroy us. And then, uh, second point is Uh, obeying God's word despite the trials in life. The first one is obeying God's word amidst, amidst the a world full of sin. So obeying God's word uh, despite the trials in life. So in James 1.12, uh, it says that, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So, We are uh, very familiar with the life of Job, right? He almost lost everything, but he remained faithful. Even his wife says that, uh, thou, uh, Dost thou still remain thy integrity? Curse God and die. Even his wife says that to him. But uh, the good thing is, he remained faithful to God. Even he has that uh, uh, voice, that nawalang uh, cure. Even the life of Joseph. He is also a good example that obey the word of God despite the trials in life. You know, he was sold by his brothers. He became slave. He was accused of uh, raping. And then he was in prison because of the uh, false accusation. What more trials can uh, that did he, did he encounter? Niya? But uh, one thing remained, his faithfulness to the Lord, right? So, this should set us examples to us as Christians. We are living now in the... Uh, the Lord is coming soon, right? We are living in the times, just like I said, of Noah. One day, the gates of the ark will close, and then the flood will come. We will not... Uh, wag po ay natin hayaan na ang mga anak natin ay maiwan sa labas, right? That we are in the ark, and then they will perish. So... Uh, In a world full of sin, still the word of God we should obey. And then, uh, third point is obeying God's word even if it will demand your life. Even if it will demand your life. Matthew 10, 28. The Bible says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So the word of God is saying that, uh, We should not fear whatever men may do unto us. Uh, familiar uh, example in the Bible. Ananias, Azarias, and Mishal. These are the friends of David, right? We all know the story that they did not bow down to the image that uh, King Nebuchadnezzar made for the people to worship David. They stand firm in their faith. They follow the word of God. Even Daniel, even Daniel their friend, Uh, we know the story uh, of, the, of Daniel in the lion's den, right? That uh, the, uh, the people that, uh, that are uh, accusing him, yung mga ayaw sa kanya, they made a special decree just for him, right? But what did Daniel did? What did Daniel do? He, con he consistently prayed to God even there is a decree against him, right? These people, they are in the point of their death. Alam nila yung mangyari. But one thing remains in their heart. It's their love for the Word of God and obey it. Uh, modern day examples. The missionaries. Hindi po lahat ng mga missionaries natin ay nakakapunta sa mga mararangyang lugar or mga well-developed or open countries. Some of them go to communist countries. right? They even go to uh, ISIS-infested countries. They will know the result. They will know the consequence of uh, going there, spreading the word of God when they are caught. 
But uh, ano yung nasa puso nyo? Go there because they know that they are doing it for the Lord. Amen. Right? They know that it's not only trials. It will be extreme trials in their life what, what, uh, when it comes to the worst situation. But they still uh, go. Uh, Pastor already told us one missionary in Tinkamboy. Pastor yung alis mamatay na ba sa, sa, sa brutality ng mga tao but he continued for the work of God. So, as Christians, uh, hindi natin nararanasan pa yung mga yun. So, we are in, in uh, let's say, in a more comfortable uh, situation, hindi pa natin ma-serve ang, ma ang Panginoon, right? How much more pag nandun na tayo? So, I encourage you to continue in the service, continue loving the Word of God, <coughs> na hindi matumating sa point na it will uh, demand for our life. So, God will do great things when we will overcome those trials. Amen. He has done this to the Bible characters that we have uh, exampled uh, a while ago. I'm sure for us, He will do also the same. So our point number one is loving Jesus by conforming to His Word. Uh, point number two, loving Jesus by loving His people. Right? John 13, 34, and 35. John chapter 13, 34, and 35. The Bible says, A new commandment I have given unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. And by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have done, if ye have loved one to another. The church is a family, right? It is the family of God. We have parents here. Who is our parents? Our pastor. Siya yung overseer natin. And then we have uh, all their brothers and sisters. Sino sila? Sila yung mga nauna na sa faith, yung mga deacons natin. We also have brothers and sisters at our same age. Yung mga kalamel natin sa faith. Uh, we also have younger brothers and sisters who are the new in the faith, right? Yung mga um, kapatiran natin na bago pa lang. Are we loving them the way that God loves them? Are we treating them the way God wanted them to be treated? If we are a family? Are we having the same mind as the Lord Jesus Christ concerning their uh, their growth in, in the faith? So, loving Jesus is loving is by loving His people. Some point for that one is loving God's people despite of our differences. You know, Jesus did not choose who to heal during His earthly ministries, right? He did not choose, oh, I, only, I will only heal this uh, clean man. I will only uh, heal the rich. No. He did not choose who will teach also. It's not only the Jews that he healed, it's not only, but also the Samaritans. It's not only the rich, but also the poor. Uh, actually, mas marami pa nga yung mga pinagaling niya na may mga kapansanan, yung mga talagang mga sinners, hindi yung mga self-righteous at the time. A true church has a heart for everyone. Our motto is, uh, BBC is a church that has a heart for everyone. Amen. No matter what is the color of the skin, right. no matter what is their level in the society, no matter what race they came from, right? We must be like uh, the attitude of God that uh, He loves the sinners. So, for us, if we are a family, we love our brothers and sisters. Pantay-pantay po tayo sa harap ng Panginoon. So, if we are uh, equal in the sight of God, there should never be I love more. Right? I love pa more sa kabila, hate pa more sa kabila. It should be equal. And our relationship must be bonded always by the Word of God. Right? Amen. It should always be the the glue that the uh, will uh, keep us bonded. Kung walang ano yan, Satan can easily infiltrate it. When there's sin in our hearts, pag nagkawatak-watak tayo, Satan can easily infiltrate. It's like a... It's like a, you, you put a, You contain something, some balls in a container, you cannot easily remove it 
kung meron siyang nakaparimeter na na bagay. But if you will remove it, then just a small uh, force, it can scatter the ball. Right? Ganun po sana ang ano, natin, mindset natin. That uh, as the family of God, we should be intact. Because Satan, if he, cannot, if he cannot destroy us from the outside, he will destroy us from the inside. Right? Amen. So, must be away po tayo ngayon sa mga ganun. BBC loves people, right? This is the church that uh, the heart for souls. Then uh, we thank God that uh, He is using us so that many people will uh, come to Him to know us His personal Savior, to know Him as their personal Lord and Savior. So point B is loving God's people by forgiving and forgetting the faults they have done for us, they have done to us. Loving God's people by forgiving and forgetting the faults they have done to us. Matthew 18, 21. And then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Amen. Uh, we are but humans, right? Nagkakamali po tayo, mga kapatid. There's nobody perfect in this, uh, in this room tonight. But uh, we must understand that uh, the love of God should be should be po sana yung nangingibago sa mga puso natin kesa yung mga galit natin na sa ating mga kapatiran. Uh, uh, siguro nagka, nagkaroon ng mga alitan sometimes some misunderstanding happened in the past, right? But uh, hindi dapat yun yung manguna sa puso natin. Amen. Sometimes kasi ang ginagawa ng mga Christian, ginagawa nilang farm ang kanilang mga puso, right? They nagtatanim sila. They're planting. They're planting in their heart. Nagtatanim sila ng galit. Yeah? Minsan, natatanda pa nila yung damit ng mga kawis sa kanila. Yung location, anong year, anong oras, anong day, right? Yun pa minsan yung nangyayari. Our heart should be like a river, right? Amen. Amen. is always flowing. Bagong body. Ganyan, ganun dapat ang puso natin. Amen. You know, the best example is our children. Makita mo mag-away yung dalawang bata. Today, tomorrow they are friends. Nakalimutan nyo na yung nangyari sa, sa past. Yesterday. Uh, Bible also said that uh, be like a uh, little child. Right? Because ganun po yung puso ng mga bata. Kala natin sila natututo sa atin. Pero natututo din tayo sa kanila. Kita mo, nag-iyakan sila, nag-away-away sila today. Tomorrow, they are friends again. Kalimutan na nila yung mga nangyari sa sa kanilang mga sa kanilang reality. And then, uh, also in Ephesians 4.3, there's a verse in the Bible saying, endeavoring to keep the unit of the Spirit in the band of peace. So, yun po sana yung mga target natin. That uh, we should forgive and forget. Sana yun yung ano, yun yung ma-develop. Mostly kasi sa atin, uh, yun yung pinakamahirap ma-develop. Right? Forgive and forget. But uh, we have the word of God, right? It is our instruction for righteousness, right? For correction, for reproof. So, I hope that, uh, yun yung sabi ko, actually, uh, my prayer last anniversary is part of this message. But, may mga galit man tayo, may mga hindi man magandang uh, nakatanim sa puso natin sa ating mga kapatiran. Sana yun na yung last anniversary nun. Diba? Kasi mamaya, pagka-anniversary din pa natin, mga 2017 na nag-anniversary tayo, hindi pa rin tayo magpapatid. Right? Iliipon natin yung mga ano natin, nagtatanim nga tayo. That should not be the, that should not be our uh, attitude, right? Kung mag-anniversary tayo, kalimutan mo na rin yung kasalanan ng kapatid na nangyari. Amen. It should remove that. Para next anniversary, hindi na nag-anniversary rin yung kasalanan. Eh, yun yung yun, yun, nangyari sa mga ka, ano, sa mga churches. Bakit yeah. tayo rin nangyawala yan? Kasi yung puso yun nila, pinag-anniversary nila yung mga kasalanan nila. Uh, they don't have a contrite or uh, forgiving heart. Right? The Bible says we should love one another. Right? Amen. So, point number three is loving God's people by helping those who are in need. So, Acts 20, 35. The Bible says, 
I have showed you all things how that solely boring you out to support the way and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. First John three seventeen But whoso hath this world good and see his brother hath need and shut up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwelleth the love of God in him? Verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. The greatest example that we have is the Lord Jesus Christ, of course. That he is always there to help the need. Uh, even he also tell us the story, the parable of the Good Samaritan, right? Siya yung isang good example din na uh, helping the need. Hindi niya kilala yung Samaritan that was a rock on the road, but he still gave his uh, heart, his money, his health, and then uh, siya pa nga nagbayad ng uh, hospitalization. We should help others if we can, if we have the means. Because God will give, uh, give it to us. If we have, uh, if we have the attitude to help, I believe God will give you the means so that you can help. Right? Galatians 6 and 7. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right? I believe that if we help now, soon the time will come that we will need help. And uh, God is not a sleeping God. Right? Our God knows what we are doing. That if we help others, we will return it back. We will reap what we what we sow, right? So that's our second point. Loving Jesus by loving his people. The last point that we have. Loving Jesus by doing his ministries. This is our thing for this year. First Corinthians 15:15. 15, 15. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to show thyself a fruit to God, a workman, that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Our physical body was now perfectly designed by God. Parang tayong sound machine that can do uh, many things. Is given us a mind and understanding. Uh, he saved us so that we can serve Him, right? We are His partner in His earthly ministries. Since He's not here, we are the in charge. We are the stewards of His uh, of His work, of His ministries. We must work. We must work for His glory. Maybe small things we are doing. There are small things we are doing but it is a great impact for the work of the Lord, right? I believe that every Christian has a role inside the house of God. 1 Corinthians 3.9 says, For we are the laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building. So, whatever we do, kung ano man yung mga bagay na ginagawa natin for the Lord right now, let's keep on continuing, right? Because we are His workman. Tayo po ang katiwala ng Panginoon. Maliit man o malaki ang mga yan, uh, I'm sure God will repay. God will repay. We will have our reward. You know some developed countries, right? They are uh, overworked. Uh, Japan. So, what is Japan? Sobrang overworked po yung mga yan. I have some friends, uh, office mates that uh, has been there. They work 10 hours, 12 hours. Like 14 hours in inano nila because they've been very focused doon sa gawain nila. Ang problema nga lang, they are already uh, they are already uh, neglecting the their uh, role for the for the for the Lord. Kahit nga sa ibang mga ano, mga mga developed Europeans or Americans, minsan they work too hard but they are working for the wrong thing. They are uh, working for themselves alone. 
nakalimutan na nila na may Panginoon na kailangan din ng kanilang servisyo. Amen. So we should not be like that. People are so busy making their money but for saving them. We as Christians must not have the same mindset. We should not be worldly but we should be godly. We must give time for the Lord. He give, up, he give us our job. He give us our businesses, maybe, sa mga mayroon dyan, but we have to dedicate also our lives to Him, right? It's not only the for me, 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 because that's the nature of man. It's only me. It should be also God, because no, nakakalungkot if we, God will say that, okay, I'll get it. I will get all of that so that I can get your attention. So, we, uh, ayaw po natin na mangyari sa atin yung that God will say that I will take all what you have so that I can have your attention again. So, iba po sana yung ano natin, yung, yung ating mindset po, right? Uh, second point is loving God by doing His ministries, even times of financial crisis. So, there are times na Lalo sa probinsya, right? There are times in the, in the Philippines, there are places that are not, uh, uh, yung hindi kayang, ano, hindi kayang, minsan ipinas ang mga, ang mga gastusin ng mga, yan, nagbabay yung study or they go for visitation. But uh, there are people that, uh, because of their love for the Lord, even they don't have anything in their pocket, they still do. They still go. They still uh, visit the brethren. They still spread the word of God. Sometimes even our missionaries, right? I believe, pag uh, may mga matitig pa kailangan ng mga missionaries natin, let's say, nagkaroon ng sakit sa family that they need to to use the money supposed to be for uh, for the for that purpose, but uh, uh, ang ginagawa nila ay they still uh, gumagawa sila ng paraan because of their love for the Lord. Ganun din po sana tayo. Wala man tayo sa sitwasyon nila. But uh, in times of uh, uh, financial uh, difficulties, kailangan pa rin natin mag-serve sa Panginoon. Right? Amen. Uh, wala man or may, we should uh, still serve. Then point number three is, loving God by doing His ministries, though others quit. We should continue the ministry that uh, God has entrusted us, even others quit. Uh, if you remember the message of Pastor regarding John Mark, right? In the first time, uh, nag-preach si John Mark, <coughs> he quitted the ministry. But uh, at the end, he became a profitable uh, servant for the Lord. And then, uh, there's one also that uh, quitted totally to the work of God. It is Demas, right? Apostle Paul recommended John Mark because he is profitable for the work of the Lord. Satan is there distracting us. Satan is there distracting whatever we are doing. Right? If we are consistent to doing something for the Lord, nandiyan yan, aali-alig it. Even for Christian, actually I have seen, uh, I always tell my wife, I have uh, seen most of our brethren uh, sa mga nasave dito that They've been growing in the faith. Uh, actually, I, hindi ko pala uh, kasi na may message sila. Just to, just to give a little encouragement that uh, they should continue what they are doing. Because uh, sometimes they talk that uh, wala rin nakakapansin sa kanila. But it's good sometimes if you are seeing some brethren that they really striving to to grow in faith. Uh, siguro hindi naman masama na i-comment buti sila because they, they're also an encouragement to the church and other people Amen. if they grow in the Lord. So, if Satan is there, the Word of God is there also for us. The Word of God is a light unto our feet and a lamp, uh, is a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet. The word quit should be the last word that will keep on our minds in doing our service for the Lord. That should also be the first word that must be removed in our Christian walk. We should uh, be always steadfast, right? Always abounding. 
unmovable, striving for the ministry of the Lord that He has entrusted us. Loving Jesus is loving His people. Loving Jesus is doing His ministry. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, Lord, we thank you once again Lord, for this night that you have given us. Lord, uh, nawa Panginoon na uh, yung salita Panginoon ng narinig ng mga kapatiran namin na naikitihan nila Panginoon ng uh, mga salita nito Panginoon. We praise you God for your goodness to us Lord. Hindi man namin naranasan ng mga bagay-bagay Panginoon na nararanasan ng ibang mga kapatiran namin Lord. Even the missionaries who are having a hard times. Then uh, we thought, we thank you God for uh, being there for us, for keeping us in the faith, for giving us the blessings. I pray God that tonight, ito mong Panginoon ang mangusap sa mga puso namin, Lord, that uh, at least in a part of that message, Lord, ay inaintin din nila, Panginoon, at uh, na, na-realize nila, Panginoon, that uh, they should... Uh, change the attitude of their heart or even uh, keep on doing your work, Panginoon. Tulungan mo po kami, Panginoon, as we continue to to work for you, to help you in your ministry, and uh, Lord, give us the grace, give us the encouragement, the wisdom, Panginoon, para po makayanan namin yung mga ito, Panginoon. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Every head bowed, every eye closed, no one looking at home, please. I don't know about you, but if you listen with your ears, you will say, that is Brother Renel speaking. But if you listen with your heart, you will conclude that it's the Holy Spirit is speaking to us. I believe there is something in that message for every single person here. If God did not speak to your heart, you don't have a heart. I wish everybody is here to hear that message. I wish it was preached on a Friday morning when everyone is here. You can be offended if you want, but if that is a voice of God that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you like He did to mine, you will be thankful to the Lord. Very simple yet so profound. Do you love Jesus that much? The Lord Jesus said, if you love me, give my commandments. Well, every head and bow, and eyes are closed, no one looking around. Who will say to me? As long God spoke to my heart in that message, pray for me. I'll be the first one to raise my hand. Will you? Okay, that's not my mind. God bless you. You can put your hands down. Yes, put your neighbor by for my hand. If God spoke to you, Let's, let's have an invitation tonight like we do on Friday morning. If God spoke to you, after I'll pray, we will stand where the general will play very softly the piano. Would you come this morning and confess whatever needs to be confessed in your heart? Do you love Jesus as much as he, he wants you to love him? Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. That is not a suggestion, that's a command. It's the same as saying, Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. Doon pa lang. All of us are already guilty of that. I don't think there's one single person here who can say, We love him that much. I know you love him. But you can love him more. Lord, we thank you for uh, the message Lord tonight. Your Holy Spirit, that was you breaking our hearts, speaking to our hearts about some things that needs to change in our life, some things that we must let go, and some things that we must adapt in our life that is not present in our life. Thank you for speaking to us. Bless this time of invitation. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Would you stand? Would you come?